Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Noche. To those of you who are here in person, I want to say thank you for coming out here tonight. This is our third weekend of bringing back live audiences for shows here. We had a great time at the 7 o'clock, uh, but here for the 9 o'clock show, we are also live streaming uh, on YouTube and through our Facebook page, as we've been doing a couple of times a week since March um, when the shutdown began. And it's an interesting kind of thing. We're happy to have this new skill, and, and really it's to the credit of our staff that we were able to do that quick pivot uh, right away into this whole new way of doing business. And moving forward, we hope to keep both elements of it. It's a, a neat thing. I know we've had a lot of people close to the club who uh, now live in other places that have been able to enjoy the shows, and all of that is uh, possible now. So, But for those of you here, we really want to thank you for coming out and spending your evening with us. I think you will not regret it. This is a really stellar band. Some of the best nights that we have had here at Noche have been brought to us by Damani and a lot of these guys up here on stage. It's quite a crew. I do want to mention that uh, this is still a private business, and uh, so we do take money for our services, and that applies to people online as well. We found many different ways to still do business with you, <laughs> and you can find those links in the uh, comments section if you feel moved to send in a contribution for this evening's music. As for the people here, you get to enjoy the wonderful libations from behind that bar, so lucky you. Please join me in welcoming to the stage, along with these other stellar musicians, Damani Phillips.
Thanks, folks, uh, to uh, you folks online. We appreciate you tuning in. For you people who are here in the house tonight, we appreciate you being here. I think that people take for granted 
um, the kind of reciprocal energy that happens when it relates to jazz and the fact that people in the audience makes all the difference in the world as to what happens up here. So I know that um, you know it would have been just as easy to sit at the house and tune in this through the computer, but we appreciate your presence in the room tonight. So thank you for being here. We can't thank you enough in uh, your effort to help us keep live music performance, something that is in the, in the air, in the vibe of the city um, as we wrestle with some uh, unusually difficult circumstances. So before we go on to the next tune, let me make sure that you know who the cats on the bandstand are for both those here and who are tuning in electronically. Uh, let's, let's go in reverse order. Usually I go start with piano, but let's go over here to the, to the West Coast. Ladies and gentlemen, over here on, uh, on the trumpet, a good friend of mine and a band leader of the Des Moines Big Band and a monster on the trumpet, this, uh, ladies and gentlemen, is Mr. Dave Rezik. Back here on the drums, uh, over there from the, the east side of the state with me, a uh, native of Cedar Rapids, a uh, monster drummer, and an uh, incredibly bright uh, scholar and uh, intellect as it relates to education and government, uh, so many things. I want to be like this guy when I grow up, ladies and gentlemen. This is Mr. Eric Thompson on the drums. Back on the bass, uh, one of the city's uh, favorite sons. You'll see him on in, uh, on in the evening at a, on a jazz gig, and then the next morning at the symphony gig. He's one of those guys, uh, an absolute monster uh, on the bass. This, ladies and gentlemen, is Mr. Steve Charleston. <laughs> and last, but certainly not least, over here on the keys. Uh, uh, another one of those, these multi-talented people, man. I'm trying to be like these guys, but I'm still wrestling with the saxophone. But this guy plays the hell out of a, a jazz piano and also happens to be the government teacher. Uh, what school are you at? Uh, Central Academy. At Central Academy, right? History, pardon me. Uh, uh, history teacher at Central Academy here in Des Moines. This, ladies and gentlemen, is Mr. Jason Danielson. My fault. I knew I was just messing with you. So next tune we're going to do is we're going to uh, take a page out of the Blue Mitchell playbook. Blue Mitchell is a very influential but slightly lesser known trumpet player in the history of the music, but recorded quite a few albums for the Blue Note label. And uh, this is one uh, that is definitely one of his iconic, uh, his iconic tunes that have, uh, that's kind of endured over the years. Uh, and this takes you, uh, harkens back to the islands, down to uh, the Caribbean, where I would not mind being right now on a beach somewhere, but uh, in the absence of being able to do that, the best we can do is uh, put this tune together and hope to transport you uh, temporarily uh, to somewhere uh, warmer and sandier and uh, all those things that we wish that we could be doing at this very minute. So this is uh, Blue Mitchell's tune entitled Funji Mama. Thank <laughs> you. 
Folks, once again, uh, Blue Mitchell's Fungi Mama. Um, man, it is fantastic to be out of the house. Fantastic to be uh, up here playing music with actual people as opposed to practicing by myself. Um, and more importantly, fantastic to be a part of the continuum of energy that is being in the presence of other folks, um, even as we are being uh, very, very careful in what we do and how we do it in um, this day and age. So. Um, thank you for the opportunity and thank the good folks here at Noche for uh, providing this kind of an opportunity and more importantly uh, trying to keep live music alive. Um, believe you me, um, there are some things that simply can't be said through a computer and so we are doing our very best to uh, on occasion remind folks that there is a difference when you're in the room as opposed to seeing it remotely. So um, we hope that you are enjoying. Uh, next tune we're going to do is one that um, written by the great trumpet player Lee Morgan that almost never gets played. And so um, if you know anything about me, I take it as a personal mission to unearth those beautiful gems. Um, and this one just happens to be uh, one of many in the Blue Note catalog um, that deserves to be uh, put out into the ether more often. And so this is uh, Lee Morgan's tune from the album, I believe it was called uh, uh, the New Land. This is his uh, tune entitled Morgan the Pirate. Thank you. 
Thanks, folks, once again. Um, Lee Morgan's tune, Morgan the Pirate, killing tune, huh? Once again, you just need to unleash that one a little bit more, but baby steps. Um, so, next tune we're gonna do for you, as you saw at the very end there, this happened spontaneously, it was not planned, but uh, had to put a little bit of, what they, what's the proper term for it, a Picardy third. I went to school, I'm just messing around. <laughs> Um, uh, commonly known or associated with the church, and so uh, commonly known and associated with a different kind of church than the one that we're about to go to right now. Uh, this is uh, one of those churches from back home where I'm at in Pontiac or over around yonder in the south side of Chicago uh, where that uh, Hammond organ runs supreme and uh, the house gets a little excited when the music part starts. So. This is a tune written by uh, the great pianist Horace Silver that is appropriately titled The Preacher.
Thanks, folks. Once again, Horace Silvers, the preacher. Man, it's funny how that works. The tunes that on paper are the easiest end up becoming the hardest in reality. Huh? The separation between the theory of jazz and actually playing it. It's a monster. Another conversation for another time. Um, we're going to skip one of our tunes and, um, and go to one written by Herbie Hancock since we're already in the neighborhood of the church. We might as well stay in that vicinity um, and see that through to fruition. Um, this is a tune written by uh, the great pianist Herbie Hancock, um, a student just down the way here at Grinnell College for a very short time before he said to hell with school and went off to become an uh, absolute monster jazz piano player and hasn't looked back since. But I think Grinnell did give him an honorary degree afterwards. But at the time, um, and looking back, I think he might have made the right choice in deciding to, nothing personal, and he was an engineer too, go figure. That's what he was majoring in, uh, to, to say, uh, to put his schooling on a hiatus and go join, I think it was Miles Davis's group at that time. Yeah, that's a pretty good choice, my friend. Not mad at you about it, but um, a prolific pianist and a uh, prolific composer too, and this is one of the tunes that he put together um, off of his uh, Maiden Voyage album. This tune is entitled, Drifting.
Ba ya ba da ba 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 ba
Thanks, folks. Uh, once again, uh, Herbie Hancock's Drifting, man, killing tune, boy. One of those tunes that's easy on paper, but you'll be working for the rest of your life to try to kind of sort of, in a roundabout way, get it right. Precisely why I do what I do and why I love the hell out of it. And uh, don't mind getting my, my backside kicked, because that is the nature of the beast in this game channel. Um, so unfortunately, man, if time goes quick. We're at an hour already. So we want to play. Uh, one more quick one for you, if you don't mind. Um, coming from uh, the, the man himself, John Coltrane. Um, this tune we tend to steer clear of because it's hard as all hell, but you know what? Glutton's for punishment, and again, I told you, the music, if it's doing what it's supposed to do, is kicking your backside on a regular basis. So let's see where we stand right, at least today, on this particular tune. This is a tune uh, released on his album, Blue Train, entitled Lazy Bird.
Thanks, folks. Once again, Mr. Jason Danielson on the piano. Steve Charleston on the bass. Mr. Eric Thompson on the drums. And over Chow on the trumpet. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Mr. Dave Rezik. Thank you, folks, who are here. Thank you so much for being here. For those folks who are tuning in, thank you, too, for peeling off a piece of your, your, your evening to come and hang out with us. We greatly appreciate it. And thank you to the good folks at Noche for making this happen. It, uh, it is a spirit changer to be in front of people playing live music again, so thank you.